Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a 15 part video series showing you how to create M4 house. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. So you have to click on new. And then right here, click on architecture template and then press OK. Now that's done, uh, we have level 1 and level 2 at the moment. So level 1 is on the screen and active. What we can do is we could go to our architecture and right about on the right side here, we have a grid. So we're going to add a grid vertically with numbers first and then horizontally with letters. So you can click here or you can type in gr and then gr you need to click on below and then above after we have a grid bubble here and it started with number one which is perfect after that you can now click on the bubble that's number one and then um, modify and then you will have to click copy or you can type in co you will need to check multiple in order for us to add in more and then here you will need to type in 49 90 After that, put it on the other side again, 4895. Press escape and then escape again. Next, the horizontal grid line. Type in GR. Click on the right side first and then on the left side. After you click that, Press escape multiple times and then zoom in on the grid bubble. You will then click on the grid bubble twice and then type in capital A and then click on the space. As you can see, we have a grid bubble which is number uh, which is a letter A and it's horizontal. It's still selected, so you can type in CO or under modify, that's copy. Multiply is already checked, so we can add more. So click it and grab it and pull it towards below so that we can add in dimensions. So here we have 6170. Next we have 2250. Next we have 3765. So now that we have those, you can press escape and then escape multiple times. And then actually, we need to add one more. And we could just grab this one, type in CO, and grab it again. This will be 5665. So now we're done. Press escape and then escape again. I want to put the grid line in the midpoint. So I'm going to select all of them and then just grab it from here. And I'm just going to assume this is the midpoint. And here, I could be able to pull this up. So if you select one of the grid line, you will notice that there is dash line indicating that if you pull this one up, 
all of them will pull up as well again if you have if you have selected the grid line you'll be able to select all of them so right now let's click on the dimension or di and then here we'll be able to add in the dimension for our grid lines so first usually we add grid lines from grid to grid and then a total or an overall dimension here i'm going to select all the grid line first you can do it one uh, one at a time or all of them at the same time and then an overall i find that this one is too much so i'm going to select one and then pull it towards near the grids and here we'll be able to change it and move it around if you notice if you want to add grid bubble on the other side as well you will need to select those grid line again and then check the bubbles so this will appear you will need to check those so that's the way you want to show all the grid lines on each side on each on each end now you can press escape and then escape again we're done with the grid line now let's do our south elevation and let's add in our level at the moment we have level one up to level two what i'm gonna do for level one is i'm just gonna leave it like that and then here on level two i want it to be 3000 if we add in a ground floor we could able to change this to ground press yes and then here we'll be able to put it at let's say 400 but we'll need to change this to first floor press yes it will change right here if you notice we were not able to see it properly but you will see here that you can add an elbow by clicking on the zigzag right here we'll be able to manipulate that and you'll be able to adjust the text now you could just select this one and type uh, or type in zo or copy under modify grab it and then put it at 3000 and then another one at 3000 again to change the name put it at second floor and then this one is roof so that's good and as you can see those floor plans are not here at the floor plan it's not showing you will need to go to view and then click on plan view floor plan and then select the roof and then the second floor by holding on shift if you have a lot click on one and then select hold the shift and select the last one and it will highlight everything and then press ok now that's good what i want you to do is go to each of the eleva elevation and i want you to pull up all the grid line so we need that one so that it will show onto our roof imagine so if we click our roof right now everything is showing if we go back to south and this is just for an example i'm gonna pull it all the way down so it's not crossing the level 
if we click roof now, this grid are missing. So as you can see, this ones are missing right here. So you'll be able to see all the grids if you just pull up all the uh, grid lines. So now, like I said, go to each and every one of them, select one, and then just pull up. Just give it some buffer room. North elevation, it's already up. South is done. And then west, we're good as well. So that's the only thing that you guys need to do in order for us to see all the grid line. Now let's go back to ground. And as you can see, there's a lot of this that we don't need anymore for the time being. What you need to do to clean it up, you don't need to click on closing all of them. You can close them at the same time by just clicking on this one, close inactive view. So in that sense, we'll be able to um, clean up and it will be faster for us to create some stuff. Next thing is we need to save it. So click on save and then save it to the location. So I'm here on the location that I want and you just need to, before you click on save, what you need to do is go to your option. At the moment, the default is maximum backup is 20. For a beginner, I'd, I advise you to just leave it like that. But if you've been um, watching my videos and everything, um, you could just leave it at 5. And then the reason for that is every time you click on save, it will create another backup and up to 5 backups. If it's 20, it will create 20 backups. It's a good idea if you're a beginner so that when you mess up, you'll be able to come back there. So now press OK and then OK again or save. Now we're able to save our project and we finish our grid lines. We created our floors and then on our level, elevation we uh, we extend all the grids so that it's appearing so now I'm um, we can start by clicking on architecture and then clicking on wall once you click on wall I know for the newer Revit you don't have generic walls anymore but what I, I can advise you is you can just select one of the walls that you have existing, click on edit type, duplicate, and just put this one exterior wall number one, and then press OK. And then here under edit, you'll be able to delete. So it's already highlighted. Delete, 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 delete. Here you won't be able to delete the core boundaries, structure, and core boundaries. So this is grayed out, but here on the interior side of the wall, the wall assembly, we'll be able to delete that as well. Here, let's put the thickness to V150. And then for the material, let's change this to gypsum wallboard. Select the wall and then press OK. OK, and then OK. Now we're ready to add, but we need to go from, our base should be from first floor. So I forgot to change this to first floor, but that's OK. Because you will be able to put this one first floor and then top constraint to second floor. Click apply. And then here, I'm just going to allow to add the walls, even though it's on the ground level. I'm just going to press escape again. And then now I'll just click on first floor. It's still the same. It's still there. The only thing is the dimension is not there. 
and then the grid bubbles on the other side is done. But it's the same thing. And then if we check it, it was created right there. And if we check for the wall, it started with first floor and all the way to second floor. So now let's go back to first floor, delete or close all inactive views, and then we could expand this or extend this so from A1 up to A3. Let's expand that first. And then we don't need to click on wall again. You can select this one and then type in CS. It's basically the same thing. But it will be good every time you have created something or added something that is already there. Now I'm going to pull this one all the way to E3. Going back here to E2. I want to close it off here. So before we close it off, I want to point out that this is the garage area. So I'm going to select here. So D3 up to D2. And here, I'm just going to add this wall. But we're going to enclose another wall right here. So for this dimension, what I want you to do is we need to add the wall right here. So I'm going to select this wall, CS, and create this wall right here. Oops. This wall is around 1500 and then the dimension is, I'm going to grab it from here, 2200. But we need to notch this one in place because I want this one to be around, I'm going to grab it and then refer it to this one around 380 and then here I'm going to select this I want this to be 2200 so it will force it to push it out there and then here we could add we could change this one to a interior wall or in this case, it's still an exterior wall. So we could click TR to trim and extend. And this one, we can extend it now all the way here. Select this wall again. This is interior wall. And then now we need to close it off up to D1. And then now we need to go up, up to A1. So for now, everything is good. So we're going to continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.